Hello everybody and welcome to week four of the Iceland vlogs. Now first things first, I wanted to apologize for the later video uh, yesterday on Sunday. I didn't really get to it, uh, sadly, but uh, hopefully today we'll make up for that. So with a day of delay, I will give you the vlog. Um, of course, there are some things to talk about. I have some material for, for you guys to watch, and of course I have some pictures. It's not as much as I usually would give, but I always try to kind of talk a little bit more in the beginning if there isn't as much footage to share for the past week. So a couple of things I want to talk about, I made a little list here beside me is um well how my classes have been going and those went just great uh today it's monday of course but past week uh i had them again and just every time i go to those classes it seems like i enjoy myself more and more while i follow those even the classes i was afraid uh that i wouldn't like or would be difficult to follow were actually really well to follow afterwards. The first class was just a little bit hard, but now it's really doable and it gets more interesting in every class. Of course for those classes I also need to do some assignments and that's mostly in the form of essays. So in this week and next week I'll be working more on those uh, and I've been collecting more information to do that. Luckily I've already discovered that I can use some materials from my school in Holland uh, to integrate that in a project or an assignment that I need to handle here. So that's really nice. That will save me some time. Now, further this week, I have discovered that it's really difficult to get my sleeping schedule back on track. Uh, the past couple of days, or actually the time I've been staying here, my sleeping, sh sleeping schedule hasn't been that good. I've been making uh, really long nights and that's somewhat I have myself to blame for that. I stay up late because I'm either chatting with friends or just online for a very long time. And whenever I then wake up the next day, it's almost half the day is gone. So I'm really doing my best to uh, get my sleeping schedule back on track. But uh, it's it's really tough to do that here, especially with the different light cycles. It's quite difficult to get my body to get used to that, even though I have been here for about three weeks now. Now another thing, and a fun thing that happened last week was, uh, a friend of mine, like, <sighs> another fun thing that happened last week was that uh, Johanna, my good friend, she ordered a little pop bubblehead statues at the local, I guess you could call it, uh, game merchandise and comic book store, and they finally came in. Now she already ordered them about a couple of months ago for my birthday, which was the 21st of October, and they finally came in. And now she and I both have this adorable little baby Groot statue. And it's absolutely adorable, and I love it. It's actually staying right here above my bed, and uh, I absolutely love it. And I'm gonna treasure it when I get home, and it's gonna have a worthy spot. It's gonna have a worthy spot. Now, beside that, I also ordered something else, and that's kind of feeding my new obsession. Uh, I've been really into uh, a, a cartoon series called Gravity Falls. And I managed to get my hands on this book. It's Dipper and Mabel's Guide to Mystery and Nonstop Fun. And it's absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I've been reading it and inside there is a really cool poster. If I could, I would hang it right here behind me. But I'm going to keep it for home. And just the, the, the stories in here and the things you can do with it are absolutely amazing. And I love this book so much. Now, I've already wanted to order this book uh, when I was home in Holland, but I didn't get to it. And when I went to Nexus, the, the local comic book store, they actually gave you the option to 
order things from the USA without any extra costs. And the wonderful thing about that store is they don't ask you any more money than it's supposed to be. Like, for instance, Iceland is already an expensive country, but if a book is supposed to be, now uh, here it says, uh, let's say $13, then it converts it properly to Icelandic kronor or to euros. So it's actually just as much as it would have cost me in Holland. Which is absolutely amazing. So this didn't cost me all too much. I think it would be about 16 euros or something. And I love it to death and I'm gonna treasure this forever. Um, now, let's see on my to list. Now over the time, uh, I was already talking about how I slightly messed up my sleeping schedule. Now, I tell, told you guys I I'm partly to blame for that as well. It's my own dumb fault that I stay up that late and different things that I'm supposed to do. Um, but because of that, I also met some really wonderful people or actually managed to interact with wonderful people. And uh, I've been spending so much time with them online. It's just absolutely amazing. And those two... People make me so glad. I'm not gonna say any names yet uh, until I'm until I know they are 100% comfortable with uh, me mentioning them. But those two are absolutely amazing, and I love talking to them. They are great friends, and even though I've only met them like two months ago, uh, it's unbelievable how fast this friendship grew into such a wonderful, wonderful thing. So. That is also slightly to blame why I stay up that late. I've been talking with them a lot, even, and I'm even running an hour behind on them. So they they stay even up later than they they stay up later than I do. And it's absolutely ridiculous, really, guys. You wouldn't want to know at what time I sometimes go to bed. Ugh, it's, it's awful. So yesterday I didn't really get to make a vlog. That was mainly because uh, I was also talking for a long time with my brother in Holland. Uh, my, it was my brother's birthday yesterday, so uh, I took my time and talked to him and with my family. I talked to my grandmother all over Skype, and it was absolutely amazing. And I really enjoyed myself. I was really glad I managed to have a chance to actually talk with them again. Especially like with, with grandparents, you never really know uh, what will happen. And you're or, you're always a little bit worried when you're away from home that something will happen to them, being it that they fall or worse. So I was really happy to see my grandmother uh, on the Skype again, and I saw my uncle, I saw my parents, my brother, also my other brother. So it was absolutely amazing and fun, and I am really really glad to uh, to see them again. Now you might actually hear it for a little bit, but I. Over the weekend, I caught an awful cold. Like the past days, I've been just wiping my nose with tissues and sneezing and coughing. And uh, last Friday, I was all basically sick in bed with what you could say a flu. And it was just horrible. It was absolutely horrible. And uh, yeah, I, uh, I had to lay down for a little bit. Luckily, I'm feeling a lot better now. I managed to go to school today. Um, but yeah, I'm I'm still having a cold. My voice is still kind of raspy, and uh, my nose is still stuffed. So I need to uh, deal with all that. But you might hear it, you might not hear it. But just so you guys know, that has also something that has been playing along in the way I didn't really feel like recording yesterday because I was rather tired as well. Now this past week, a lot of things happened. Like I got all these uh, amazing things from the comic book store, uh, the classes were amazing, and in the coming footage you will also see some other wonderful things that I've done that week. But another very nice thing that happened to us is the family here told me they owned a keyboard. Now in my free time I do play piano and I enjoy singing, and uh, normally I don't really enjoy playing the keyboard because it's so different from playing the piano, but now they actually, I noticed that I really wanted to practice some kind of songs and 
I can look at the, the chords and easily practice them on a keyboard. That's doable. It's not the same, of course, but it's something. So we managed to get the keyboard from the downstairs uh, basement. And that was a lot of work, because it was just buried and buried underneath boxes and all kinds of stuff. But we managed to get it, and it's now just standing in the corner of my room. And now I'm able to actually practice some keyboard and at least practice some songs. So I'm really glad I have this one now. And it's always fun to play around with the songs on there and the silly noises you can make with it. But maybe I'll actually make a couple of videos with me playing on it and recording some songs. Of course, the sound on this laptop is not as good as it should be. Uh, so I might record those with either my phone or my iPad, but yeah, you, you, you can expect some videos. I don't know how soon those will be here, or if they're gonna come at all, but I do want to try something like that. Now further, the weather has been uh, quite rowdy the past days, especially this weekend it has been storming quite a lot. And uh, because of that, the internet connection has been a little bit wonky. Uh, yesterday evening, we actually had a snowstorm uh, around, you could say, 10. And uh, the internet actually flew out for twice. So we had to fix that a couple of times. Uh, and the wind was just so hard that you saw uh, la lamp posts wiggle in the wind because of the sheer power of uh, the storm outside. So today the weather was rather okay. Today's uh, of course Monday, so here's a little update for Monday. Uh, today's weather was rather okay. It was a little bit rainy. I also made a bit of footage uh, while I was outside, so you'll see that one in the next video for Sunday. I'm going to keep it on Sunday and I'm going to do Mondays. Um, so the weather was rather okay today. It was very gray and windy, but it was a lot less than yesterday. Actually, today I managed to wear my blue dress, my favorite one, and I'm really glad I could. I even wore normal shoes uh, because the ice had for a greater part had melted, so I could just walk outside and I didn't have a problem at all. It was a little bit slippery here and there, but I didn't fall or had any trouble. I could actually just normally walk to the bus station or to school. So, that was actually really nice. Now further, I don't really have any more updates on when it comes to news around the house or things that I am going to do, because that's all just bound for the footage that you're going to see, and also for the footage for next week. So, without further ado, I will introduce you guys to the footage of this week. I know it's not as much, but I hope you will enjoy it nonetheless. So, I wish you all a wonderful week, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye! Good morning, everybody. Um, as you can see, I am still home. It's nice and early in the morning, and I'm getting ready for class. Uh, I wanted to make a little vlog for you guys uh, with a small tour of my room because I realized that you guys have never seen my room before. So that's why I'm filming like this and I'm gonna show you guys around. So from the mirror we go to our little computer spot. As you can see it's a little bit dark in my room so I'm gonna just turn on. There we go, there's light. So I have a laptop over there and over there is just some clothes. As you can see, over here is the view for my room. And some little things over there. Here I keep my uh, cosmetics and my jewelry and here I store in all my clothes. As you can see, here's a suitcase and also right behind me is a suitcase. Uh, those are just staying right here. Uh, I can't really store them away right now, so I gotta keep them in my room. So, we continue with the bed over here. Very nice and 
big with some stuff over here and his very nice calendar RAR. Uh, then here are all the DVDs and books of the family uh, and over here is some more stuff of mine here also some books of mine and uh, over here my laundry basket and some shoes and that's basically my room let me just walk a little bit backwards so yeah it's uh it's quite bigger than my room in uh, in Holland but uh, I don't know I like it even though there's a lot of stuff in here and it's not really mine it does give a certain feel to it all right we continue for a little bit so I'm gonna tell you about my morning routine so this morning I got out of bed and I took a shower which is the bathroom is right there so I took a shower uh, did my makeup there uh, got dressed and now it's time to make some breakfast and we do that right here in the kitchen which is really really dark so let there be light so this is the kitchen the table fridge and more darkness as you can see a stove let me turn on the light yes some other appliances but as you can see there's a lot of cutlery a lot of things to work with and yeah this is the kitchen I won't really show you anything else in the house um, it doesn't seem really fair since I'm only staying at this family for uh, like six months and I don't want to put all their house on the, on the internet but uh, I hope you liked the mini house tour I hope you like my room and uh, I'll give you guys another update uh, when it's uh, time so I'll see you all around bye bye Look who has decided to join me for breakfast. Hello, little kitty. Yeah. This is Mr. Bean. It's a house cat that lives here. Here's my breakfast. I think he really wants some, but right now he's too occupied. Yes. And he really loves the cuddles. Right, Mr. Bean? Yeah. Okay, everybody. Um... <laughs> All right. Uh, I decided to make a little video of my way home. The university is right over there. And I thought it would be maybe nice to show you all the view I have around here. So, uh, I might be a little bit silent because you might see everything like this. This is all ice. So I need to take very careful steps. But, yes, I'm gonna film some of the environment while I'm walking home. Right over there is the cinema. There's some more university buildings over there. So, yes. Maybe you can see it there in the distance. There are some very nice mountains. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. Yes. I don't know what those guys were doing in the beginning while they were uh, honking at me but uh, <laughs> I'm not so very sure what to think about that
Now here you have the Bank of Iceland and it's just attached to the building where the cinema is at and the site there, a little bit there in the distance, there's another part of the university. Well, that's the science department, so I don't go there. It will be very nice though, because it's really close to uh, where I'm staying. But, uh, yeah. There's the big roundabout and a gas station. And you see the red building over there? Like the one over there, that's the National Library. I actually been there a couple of days ago to get a book. Um, ooh, almost falling. Uh, it's actually a very beautiful building, but they don't allow cell phones or at least no camera equipment inside. I can completely understand why. But uh, yeah, if I ever get the chance to maybe get some inside pictures, uh, I'm definitely gonna try. So, you see the building over there with all the windows, like the lighter one in the sun? That's actually an elementary school. And right over here, you have the high school. So they're very close to each other. And I'm gonna just take the path that goes this way, down the street towards the sun. Actually, that way is also towards the coast. And again, I need to be careful not getting hit by cars and not slipping out. Oh, I said it, not slipping on the ice. Because even though like there's a little bit of snow on the ground, it's still very, very slippery because you can't see the ice. You just can't. Okay, we're back. Uh, the route that I showed you guys, which was like, there's the building, uh, it was the wrong way. Uh, this is the second time I actually wanted to take that way so uh, I decided to just walk around it over there I also saw those uh, guys that were in the car honking um, I didn't feel very comfortable about that so I decided to just walk around it but as you can see if you look a little bit further you can see the coast I'm just right now making my way home over there you have the the, the, the I guess it's the school before elementary, or so. yeah. So kids of about the age till five are around there, and uh, yeah, we actually live very close to all the schools around here. Step, step. And. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna show you till this far um, because I don't want to show you everything uh, just for a little bit of private reasons but uh, yeah, this was a little bit of my uh, way home and I hope you guys enjoyed that and uh, I'll see you all for the next part and it will probably be tomorrow so, later! Hi guys, uh, this is day four, week four, and right now it's pretty much night out, and we are at Taco Bell. Now, a little thing that you might want to know is they don't have Taco Bell in Holland, they barely have it anywhere in Europe, so I was pretty excited to go here, and uh, I just had my first taco, and I gotta admit it's pretty good, though they are a lot smaller than I expected, just look at the tiny taco, you can see, yes, there it is, look at the tiny taco, soft taco for reference, <laughs> uh, Johanna got the soft taco, but I'm just a little bit confused on why they are so small, uh, I got some nachos on the side and the cheese sauce is pretty good, um, but yeah, I wanted to document my experience here at my first Taco Bell ever, and for Johanna, it's also the first time, yeah. So, what is your opinion? 
tasteless. Tasteless? How come? Um, I just don't think there's enough spice on it. So. Can put some sauce on it. <laughs> but I gotta say, it's just pretty. It's pretty okay. Yeah. Taco Bell, you're all right. I gotta say though, it's actually better than McDonald's. But you really like McDonald's. Yeah, and, but we don't have McDonald's here anymore. So. Yeah. They don't have a McDonald's in Iceland anymore because it was too expensive to keep it there. So when they have a shitty replacement called Metro. Yeah. They have uh, another one that's called Metro, but it's just, uh, it's not as good. It's not as good. Even though McDonald's is already not that awesome. I prefer McDonald's. <laughs> but yeah, this was my uh, first experience at Taco Bell. I gotta say, it's pretty alright. So. See you all in the next part, and uh, I'll keep you guys updated for this week. I might make some more pictures of the food, and uh, you all see that in the video. So, see y'all later. Bye. So that was the Taco Bell experience, I guess. Um, so I had two Taco Supremes and nachos with a little bit of extra salt and uh, just a regular drink with ice and I have to say it's pretty good. It's pretty good, though the portions are really, really small. But uh, it's also rather cheap here, so you kind of pay for what you get. Uh, if you want more, of course, you gotta buy more. But I have to say I'm pretty satisfied. I'm kind of full right now and of course the free refills of drinks kind of help with that too. Um, but yeah, the Taco Supreme is pretty good. The sour cream that I normally don't really like was really good on the tacos. So I might actually just start making my own tacos and then just uh, use sour cream for my own and make bigger portions. <laughs> But yeah, it was really good guys, so if you have a chance to ever eat at Taco Bell's, uh, it's a good fast food restaurant. You have some uh, pretty solid food, uh, it isn't cold or anything, it was pretty okay, so yeah, I would go again. Definitely. So, I'll see you all later. Good morning everybody, or should I say afternoon. Um, welcome back to day f six of uh, week four. It's a Saturday, so tomorrow the vlog will come out. And uh, today we decided to do some nice things too. And uh, right now we're at the gas station uh, because Johanna's car needed some gas. And here I discovered that gas in Iceland is actually pretty, pretty cheap. Uh, I just calculated how much uh, we pay for petrol here, and it's about one euro and 29 cents. So I have to say that's quite a difference than we have in Holland with our quite pricey petrol prices. So what we're going to do today is uh, we're going to the ice skating rink, and we're going there for about an hour and a half. And uh, then we were planning on going to the zoo that's here almost right, like right across the ice skating rink. Now, three years ago I was also here in Iceland, of course, and then I um, also wanted to go to the ice skating rink, but that one was closed in the summer. It's only open in the winter, so I really wanted to take the chance to uh, actually go ice skating together with my friend. And I already went to the zoo once, but the zoo is never the same. So we're gonna see, there's a little bit of snow outside. It's relatively, relatively all right weather. So I only pay for the liter 196.9. My God. As I said, petrol prices are very low right now. Without the card, I pay around 10,000 krona for gas. <laughs> oh my God. Now it was 7,000. 7,000. So that's about... I think 40 euros? That's doable. So yeah, we're going to the zoo and uh, I'm pretty excited about it because I went before. So I'm gonna see if there are any new animals or anything different. And I'll keep you guys updated with 
small snippets of in the ice skating rink and pictures and stuff. So it's gonna be a lot of fun and I'm super excited. So I'll see you guys all later and uh, I'll keep you all updated. Bye bye! Hey everybody, it's Liz from the future and I'm doing a little bit of a voiceover for the footage that you can see right here. We are in the hamburger factory right here, eating some dinner and waiting for our food. As you can see, it's just a wonderful, wonderful restaurant and uh, I'm going to truly enjoy the food. So, as you can see, the burgers are square and they are delicious. So it's storming right now. If you look at the lights, there's a lot. It's all just very, very fine snow. But in a moment, we'll have to walk through that. So, you better wish us luck, guys. Because we're gonna be soaked.